Our presentation is on Kim Campbell. She was elected as the 19th Prime Minister of Canada, making her the first female Prime Minister in Canada. She was also the first female Minister of National Defence and Veterans Affairs. Before she became PM, she was the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of Canada. Along with being the first woman for many roles in politics, she was also the first leader of the Progressive Conservative Party. At UBC, she became the first female president. She travels to the U.S. and other countries to talk about issues of leadership and governance. Campbell takes particular pride in working on the advancement of women's opportunities. Her political career began when she was elected trustee, then chairperson, in the following year, vice chairperson of the Vancouver School Board. Kim Campbell was born in Port Alberni on B.C. March 10, 1947. She studied at the University of British Columbia and London School of Economics. When she was 16 years old, she became the first female council president at Prince of Wales Secondary School. This was a very important event because it awakened her interest in politics and her ambition to change the world. On June 25, 1993, Kim Campbell became Prime Minister of Canada. She enjoyed taking part in politics, and after she became school president, she decided to pursue it further. She was told that she had a personality that was born to lead and make a difference. When she was in office, Kim Campbell changed the political structure in a major way. When she reduced the number of state ministers and cabinet ministers from 35 to 23. Also, she helped improve gun control legislation by making the requirements for ownership and storage of firearms stricter. A challenge she faced being a lady politician was that if she made a mistake, people would think women did not belong in politics and that she was unfit to be prime minister. Another challenge was when she was Minister of National Defense. She had to decide whether or not to buy new helicopters for the military. She also had to deal with the death of four Somalis at the hand of Canadian paratroopers. Thank you for watching our slideshow.